Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. One of the things I love about the Digest is when we can work with multiple historic sites and go ahead and bring history to life for you. This is made possible by funding that's provided for us by the CWDD Coffee Grinders, our patrons on Patreon. We'd love to have you take a look at that. Today, two historic entities are helping us. First, we say thanks to the Historic Fort Wayne Coalition for access here to the Mess Hall at Historic Fort Wayne in Detroit. And today's episode is Plain Irish Stew for 50 Men. It comes to us from the National Museum of Civil War Medicine out of the original copy that they have of the Hospital Steward's Manual, written by Joseph J. Woodward and published in 1862. Now, I'm not going to do this recipe for all 50 men. That would be too wasteful. We're going to cut it down to one-tenth scale. Today, we're going to use five pounds of beef, 0.8 pounds or so of onions, about a pound and a quarter of potatoes, 0.8 tablespoons of salt, and then we're going to do 0.3 tablespoons of pepper, water you'll find in the recipe. This is a great place to give you a quick reminder for recipes. It takes three teaspoons per tablespoon. So for the pepper, we're just gonna use one teaspoon. We'll go ahead and get cutting stuff up per the recipe. Let's listen to the original document and we'll get it out to cook. Ingredients. Fresh mutton or beef, 50 pounds. Large onions, eight pounds. Whole potatoes, 12 pounds. Eight tablespoonfuls of salt, three tablespoonfuls of pepper, water, a sufficient quantity. Cut the meat into pieces of a quarter of a pound each. Put the ingredients into the pan with enough water to cover them all. Set it on the fire and keep up gentle ebullition, stirring occasionally, for an hour and a half for mutton and two hours for beef. Then mash some of the potatoes to thicken the gravy and serve. Well, in the flowery language of the 19th century, this was a gentle ebullition for two hours or a simmer. The stew's been on. The last thing it says is to mash up some of the potatoes to thicken it a bit. I'm gonna use the bottom of my ladle, get those broken up, break up the onions a bit. And then this, which was made for soldiers in the hospital, we'll go ahead and dish some up and see where it's at. The thing that amazes me the most about this when you look at a recipe is the fact that we know that a pound of meat was a day's ration. This recipe for 50 men is the ration for the day. Let's go ahead, we'll cut it up. Because as you remember, we're quarter pound chunks, but this meat's boiled for two hours gently. Nothing short of the beef is fantastic. Let's go to the broth. Having just come off the fire, I haven't added any extra salt or pepper for myself. I love the way this tastes. Of course, we're looking at the army ration. We're looking at potatoes, beef, and onions, and that's why it's kept simple. If you had the opportunity to get some other root vegetables, put some parsnips or some carrots or some turnips in with this, you're just gonna add to the flavor. But for today, here's a plain Irish stew for 50 men, or in our case, for five men, but the whole day's ration. It's great working with the Museum of Civil War Medicine to bring this recipe out of their original book to you. We hope you've enjoyed it and find a greater connection to the American soldier in the Civil War. We'll see you soon.